Welcome to Food News and Shoes, and we got a great day here on the patio at Azura. Great day. That's right. Well, we got food news, right, including bourbon news, which Laced is with the bourbon. good thing for guys. And like, we got a great interview too. We got a great guy here, Morgan Murphy. He's got Off the Eaten Path, Second Helpings, his second book out. It's awesome. It's kind of Americana. Yeah, Make sure you stories. go and check out great restaurants with great recipes. Yeah, tell stories. And then we're going to finish up with one of the recipes in his book. It's grouper in a bag, which is really Very interesting. Bad. It's kind of a, a neat version of on Papi Yo. And your recipes are in That's From concessions to festivals, bingo halls to daycare facilities, Seaworth Superstore is Kentucky's largest dealer for all your weekend kitchen or mobile kitchen supply needs. From popcorn to snow cone machines, we have the largest selection of new and used equipment with warranties to help keep your mobile food truck or weekend event going strong. That's Seaworth Superstore for Sales Road, Lexington. That's Seaworth Superstore, putting the Kentucky workforce back to work. Today's shoppers are informed. When shopping for the family meal, today's shopper chooses Critchfield Meats for fresh, all-natural quality meats, guaranteed. Make the right choice and visit our family before you feed yours. Critchfield Meats, the meat specialist, family owned and operated since 1969. That's a great A choice, folks. Why do chefs choose Lion's Farm beef? It's consistent, it's delicious, um, it's got great tenderness, and it's really good for you. This nutritional element of making healthy animals for healthy eating is a big component about why their beef is so delicious. I feel so lucky to be a chef in Kentucky because the best way to express care for someone is to make them something to eat, and I get to do that every single day. Lion's Farm beef, available at Critchfield Meats and lionsfarm.com. Now, the award-winning dishes enjoyed at Azure Restaurant and Patio can be featured at your next event when you order from Azure Catering. Our services include menu planning with our amazing food, event site location, rental equipment, linens, event staffing, and seeing to every last detail of your wedding, special event, or corporate event. Visit AzureCateringKY.com or call 859-327-7125 to start customizing your menu today. Welcome to Food News and Chews, and we have two really, really smart reporters here with us today. <laughs> I'm a cub reporter. I do have media credentials now. I believe oh, it. Oh man, I can get in some mischief. Anyway, hey Jeremy. Yes. We got some great news coming on here. I'm sure um, we do. <laughs> they have a chef contest at Delta with Food and Wine magazine, <laughs> Delta Airlines. You don't get fed on an airplane. What do you That's doing? an oxymoron. <laughs> right. Airline food. One thing I know, okay, here's my famous charcuterie and crackers. And and here's some cardboard. pepperoni and Ritz. Or formaldehyde and styrofoam are the basic ingredients. You know? <laughs> no kidding. You Give know, me your knife. Right. <laughs> the airline food, isn't there like a, a comedian thing? Like if you start a routine talking about the airline food, it kind of like labels you as the worst comedian ever. Some kind oh, of no cliche. Yeah, it does. Oh, our ratings will drop. Like, what about that airline millions? food? Oh, Anyway, Airline. airlines are starting to pay a, pay a whole lot more attention, just like everybody else is, to their customers' needs. And I guess that makes up for when the emergency hatches don't <laughs> You know, airline, I'm, that's a sore point. Yeah, no, no, no. I can't no. believe you brought that up because okay. the last time I was on a plane, I was in coach and my yeah. parents were way up there in first class and they're getting ice cream sundaes and crab cakes. <laughs> that's what's wrong with I got a Slim Jim. <laughs> And a soda pop. Yeah, I know. That was a that they was put an upgrade. The wing that last time. That's when he decided to go to yeah. chef school. Yeah, really. <laughs> this is never happening to me again, mm -hmm. says Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy, I don't want too much time to go by that we don't note. I, by the way, I love the New York Times obituaries. Okay. What? Weird. I know it's weird. But did you know? Here, there's some interesting things. I'm ready. Gene Kelly, who was in Singing in the Rain, mm -hmm. was told he couldn't dance. Uh -huh. I learned that about him. Judy Carland is told that she couldn't sing. Is that amazing stuff that you Who's learn that? in the obituaries? I'm I told know I you're couldn't too cook. young. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's me too. Um, okay, but guess who's died and been written up? Not me. I'm not dead yet. 
contrary uh, okay. to popular belief. <laughs> Who was it? It was Elmer T. Lee. That's right. He did Tell us about um, him. pass over the past week, right? Yeah, he did so, 93. Well, Elmer T. Lee, I mean, I guess a lot of people outside of Kentucky wouldn't know who he is, but he's kind of a bourbon legend here. And in fact, you know, because Morgan Murphy's doing a book about bourbon and bacon, uh, it's probably because of Elmer, because yeah. bourbon was in the slums at one point in like time. Like a college drink. Yeah, exactly. It was just nothing. But uh, after he kind of handcrafted the, the Blanton's single barrel for the first time, that's when it kind of, you know, there we get the high priced craft bourbons came up into the liking and then ever since then you've seen a big rise in bourbon so mm -hmm. uh he saved our state or that that portion of our state's economy yeah uh, you do number dishes with bourbon oh you know, well yeah i lot. try not to cook with too much bourbon because i like drink to drink too it much. <laughs> but uh you know if you're gonna if you're, <laughs> to i cook profession. with it but just not i don't <laughs> yeah. put it in things See, i guess i, I would cook you count my everything stomach, with bourbon because <laughs> i usually would have one with my dinner so right. i guess it's kind of like okay pour some on the top i just cook with bourbon it's good anyway uh so that that's a big deal, a uh, yeah. big deal, and it's a big deal that's in the New York Times. They're paying attention to us. Well, of the course they are. Times. He's one of the barons of Whoa. bourbon. Uh, I tell you what, even if I was dead, they wouldn't pay any attention to me. Anyway. Um, we'll have a drink. Hey, I'm going to New Orleans next week for the International Farm to Table Conference. It's going to be really cool, and I'm going to be a cub reporter. I've got my media credentials. And you're not I am me? armed. Are you I, I, getting I, trouble I, I on bourbon? I didn't, I, am, I didn't know about this. You're I, going to a farm and table cup. <laughs> she's sneaking out on me. Uh, but, by taking the food news credit card. But too. anyway, the fellow that is speaking is. Yeah, that's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, did you tell him that? <laughs> uh, no, but it's interesting. The Atlantic Monthly guy, there was a recent article about how we've been short shrifting um, fast food, that they actually are the answer to our obesity problem. Fast food is. Well, they. What do you think? I think they have a, I'm going to keep people maybe on the edge could, of their You say they this. could be the answer? Yeah, that they that okay. we are dissing they fast food and that actually that's where people are going to go to get the new so whatever. So they just need to go and shut down sandwich. all the chains and then that would be the answer? No, yeah, I guess you're saying right. rewire their menus and re-gear what they're serving. Or let them have some place at the table of local uh, that, you know, we have been just dissing them and saying you should go to independently own. Well, you've seen some, mm -hmm. some major breakthrough trying. chains like Chipotle, Kidoba yeah. that are actually all they're buying all local, yeah. uh, which is That's a great right. injection into and, local and economies. And that pressure will be what meets uh, the rubber meets the road for people mm -hmm. who are ordinary, like everyday people that just want to go and get a bite to eat and not spend a whole lot of money. I mean, I want to make heirloom tomato salad and see what that's all about, right? Yeah, and introduce it to... Uh, but yeah, but you know, the pressure is coming to bear on these folks to do that. So anyway, finally, Kentucky Bourbon Ale, <laughs> speaking of, makes the Oprah Top Wow one? List. <laughs> top 50 Wow List. Did you know that? And I'm, it's right here. Alltech is based here. It's and Alltech awesome. makes Kentucky I had a Bourbon big, Ale. I had a big pint of it yesterday and a big bacon sandwich. And well, that was a good combo. If Oprah got a hold of it, you better drink another one quick because it's going to wow. be gone. That's <laughs> the, usually when she can don't, it's, it's off the shelf. So. Oh, but. That's our food news for the day. We'll be back with uh, another segment shortly. Hello, my name is Bob. Recently, I switched my business phone service to Glow Telecom. Now I'm saving over 50% on my monthly phone bills, over $2,000 a year. And I have a PBX phone system that would have cost me over $10,000. Unlimited calling to the US and Canada with no long distance charges. If you want to put money back in your wallet, call Glow Telecom today. Call Glow Telecom at 888-428-0984. 888-428-0984. From concessions to festivals, bingo halls to daycare facilities, Seaworth Superstore is Kentucky's largest dealer for all your weekend kitchen or mobile kitchen supply needs. From popcorn to snow cone machines, we have the largest selection of new and used equipment with warranties to help keep your mobile food truck or weekend event going strong. That's Seaworth Superstore for Sales Road, Lexington. That's Seaworth Superstore, putting the Kentucky workforce back to work. Worldly influenced, locally inspired. Azure Restaurant and Patio, contemporary fine dining and a relaxed atmosphere right here in Lexington. Modern award-winning dishes with a distinctive Kentucky twist from the mind of nationally recognized chef Jeremy Ashby. Voted best fine dining in Lexington. Azure is chef created, chef driven, and Kentucky proud since day one. Taste something unique at Azure Restaurant and Patio, Beaumont Center in Lexington. And see chef Jeremy Ashby and Sylvia Lovely on the Food News and Chews, Sunday night at 11 on Fox 56. Today's shoppers are informed. When shopping for the family meal, today's shopper chooses Critchfield Meats for fresh, all-natural quality meats, guaranteed. 
Make the right choice and visit our family before you feed yours. Critchfield Meats, the meat specialist, family owned and operated since 1969. That's a great A choice, folks. Shoes. And Jeremy, the last time I saw this fellow about five minutes ago, his mouth was wide open and he was <laughs> injecting a bourbon something or other you had made for him. We made him our bourbon <laughs> French toast. French toast. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> and we also got to try the, the bourbon fried chicken. We call it the BFC here uh, at Azor, and I hope you enjoyed it. The BFC is now my BFF. I <laughs> love that fried chicken. It was so crunchy. It was really delicious. Well, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And this is uh, Morgan Murphy's book, Off the Beaten Path. Um, this yeah, would be him. Yeah, second helping is the second one, right? Yeah, I'm always up for second helping. Yeah, the first book came out <laughs> so where two do you years put ago. It? <laughs> <laughs> I run like the Taliban is chasing me and the Sports Illustrated swimsuit team is in front of me. That's, <laughs> That's what probably would do it for me, too. <laughs> I need Im some imagery on that one. I'm liking that. That's, That's in my head, yeah. But, okay, uh, you yeah. know, Morgan, you've got, you've got the job here. You get, you get to go to these places. I'd say, Morgan, you'd be kind of like a sailor in you one do. sense. Like, what, whatever town you live in, you always get the hot dish. And this this and book is full food. of them too. Oh right, okay. <laughs> or maybe some other hot dish. I never know. Let me tell you about the uh, the food <laughs> in this book. Now I went through 16 states, uh, 12,000 miles, 64 different restaurants in this book, uh, and 150 of their favorite recipes. So what I do is I go into the restaurant like we did here and say, yeah. "Man, what's your best stuff? What do people love to eat here?" And I really feel that to get to know a place, to truly understand a place, you have to eat its food. Yeah. So for instance, there's a great recipe in this book for chicken fried steak, right? It, it is Yummers. It's like Where a is nuclear that? weapon That's of calories. one of my favorites. But it's in, <laughs> it's in Amarillo, Texas. <laughs> so it's a place called the Stockyard Cafe. Now you walk into the Stockyard Cafe, it's literally in a stockyard in dusty old Amarillo. There are guys walking around with hubcaps, you know, yeah, hubcaps gotcha. for belt gotcha. buckles, and they say things like ombre. <laughs> and you eat that chicken fried steak there, it's made by Donald Trump's personal chef is the chef at the Stockyard Cafe. You can't believe wow. how great the you food is there. But if you want to understand I, Texas hey, and you want to understand it, you got to eat their just food. Just be sure there's not an Amarillo hidden in there somewhere. You know, we've had a I, little bit of a horse meat thing possum going on. on. The, <laughs> possum on the half shell is what we call that in Alabama. Yeah. And I think it was armadillo, right? <laughs> armadillo, armadillo. <laughs> who's, yellow who's or the small. Oh, look uh, how pretty animal. these things are. And they and what do you do in this? In, you had a first one, and it's this is the same. It's the same. It's out. the same concept. Just another another uh, 150 recipes and 75 more restaurants. That's the best mac and cheese ever, by the way. In well, that in that page. You've really hit a this? nerve here because this is really this is personalization of a food. You can really uh, kind of tell what kind of a place it is. I mean, all the pictures kind of personify where you've been and what you've mm -hmm. eaten and it's just kind of an Amer you know americana story i love it it's you, a, this you, is the family wash in nashville and it's uh, you can go hear some live music in nashville and maybe discover the next country music star and wherever you go you can use this book sort of like a travel log yeah uh, and here in kentucky there are a lot of places to so how to did go you get into this line of work and do you need an assistant you know even a <laughs> even a blind Mama pig finds an acorn every now and then <laughs> is what i like to say so <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's better to be uh, lucky than Did you just smart. beg for this? I mean, you know, how did it happen? Please! Tell us about your start with Southern Living. I was travel editor of, of Southern Living, and the food section fell under my uh, my section. And the, the editor of Southern Living said, Morgan, would you try writing that food column for he a month or two? probably wanted him out of those so he's the, he's offices. The, he's you know, the, the feared the food critic. Uh, <laughs> you know, the, the, but uh, I think Morgan actually took a different approach with it, too. I mean, it's, it seems like Southern well, Living yeah. is always a positive yeah. you know, well, style of magazine and thing. positive produ production. So when you do a food critic for Southern Living, is it more about uh, picking apart the food or? No, oh, no, you know, it's, it's Southern Living, my philosophy's yeah. always been, no one's ever asked me, where's the worst place to eat in town? <laughs> People ask me, where's the best place to eat? Sure. So I don't waste space. Honestly, Jeremy, it's it's funnier to write negatively, so I think that's why a lot of food critics do that, because they right. can make fun of somebody, and that's just not my style. Right. Yeah. So people have always asked me, I like to be useful. I want this book to be a tool for people to celebrate great restaurants, to celebrate innovation across America. All of these are mom and pop places, and it makes me so happy to lend them a helping hand. Are they doing well out there? I mean, you know, one they of the are. concerns we have is that our little towns are in trouble. You and I were talking yeah. about that earlier. What can, uh, what's happening out there? I mean, we've got this whole food revolution. If you're in food in right now, right, the first thing people cut out of family budget is dining out. Mm. And so if you're in a restaurant business right now, it's not easy. Yeah. Um, these people work 
when the rest of us are off. So they work Saturday nights mm -hmm. and Friday nights and holidays and weekends, and it's a tough life. Uh, but they love what they do, and more than anything else, they seem to love people. You can be the best foodie in the world, but if you don't like people, you can be terrible in the restaurant business, yeah. right? Uh -huh. And so that's what all these folks will be glad to call you, chat with you by name. Uh, it's easy to become a regular in all these spots. How does one get on your special. list to be a person featured or an entity featured? Well, a lot of people will uh, send me suggestions actually through Twitter. My Twitter handle is at underscore Morgan Murphy. People uh, do that all the time. They actually write into Southern Living and say, tell that dude to go here. <laughs> I can't wait. To, I'm going to light him up on Twitter. I didn't know I could make suggestions that way. That's a great way Blow to Blow me up. Yeah, I will. I love that. <laughs> yeah, no, that is awesome. That is really cool. So what's in the future for you and what you're going to do, you know? Okay, well, what, What's the next? Thing. The next thing, the next thing we're researching thing. why I'm in Kentucky right now. Uh -huh. Are you ready? The next book, I'm going to tell you, you're going to be the first, the first press I've told this. The next book title is Bourbon and Bacon. All right. Those are two of my four food groups. Uh. <laughs> Would you the say others are salt and pie. You're, yeah, you're not into Bourbon, the salt, pyramid. You're into the trapezoid. The trapezoid. Right. Yeah, that's right. It's all part of not the food pyramid, but the food trapezoid. <laughs> I just sort of list to starboard. But well, you came to the right place bourbon, when it comes to bacon be, and bourbon. Yes. Yes. So I'm here on a massive bourbon bender, and then we're going to go get some cholesterol. Yes. It's oh, good for you. I yeah, love it. I love it. Yeah. So you're going to be doing a new book. New and book it is, is going to be another And you're not kidding me on this. No, no, no. It's called true. Bourbon and Bacon. It's going to be another and 150 of my favorite bourbon and bacon recipes, including some mighty fine uh, bourbon fried chicken That's here. That's right. We just did some bourbon fried slurp, chicken slurp. for them. Hopefully you guys can check that out, you know, the recipe and, and make it at home, even though I'd yeah. rather you come here and eat it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just pick, pick one of these out in here and just tell us about it. Just something that well, was really unique about a person. That there is a great story in my hometown is a woman named Carrie Hudson. She makes the pudding uh -huh. at Nikki's West. This is Carrie Hudson okay. right here. Carrie Hudson has made this pudding since 1957 Alabama. in Birmingham, Alabama. Jeez. I went into Nikki's. I said, hey, could you give me the recipe to your warm, it's warm banana pudding, right? <laughs> could you give me the recipe to the warm banana pudding? They said, yeah, we'd be glad to do that, but we don't know it. She's come in every morning <laughs> since 1957 and made it at four in the morning. They said, but if you can get it out of her, you're welcome to it. So I came in the first morning, I watched her do it. I had no idea what she did. I came in the second morning and filmed her and we still had no idea what she did. The third morning we were like, wait, and we like weighed everything that they brought on, that she took out. And we finally cracked the code. The Southern Living Test Kitchen is behind me on all these sure. recipes. So they retest, I set things on fire, but they <laughs> they uh, test them all to make sure. You, you're like a, me, you're a, not a cook. That's I'm, right, no, so I'm, exactly. I'm, I'm uh, Betty Parker. Uh, big flame and frying pan yep. is my logo. And, um, <laughs> but if you can read, you can make the ones in this. If I can make it, you can make it at home. Trust me, the Southern Living Tel Test Kitchen helped me make it approachable oh, for the home chef. Great. That sounds great. That's just super fun. <laughs> All right, then. We have been with an absolutely wild man. I love it. You are cuter than a speckled pup under a red wagon. <laughs> 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 we'll be back with Food News and Shoes. <laughs>when I get things in the kitchen, I can tell like right off the bat. After I get done searing it or put it on the grill or roasting it or baking it or frying it or whatever I'm gonna do, the second I cut into that thing, whether it's uh, you know the resistance on the fork or just the way it kind of slides across the knife, it's gotta be right on from the get-go. And it seems like this, this beef does that every single time. Lions Farm Beef, available at Critchfield Meats and lionsfarm.com. Now, the award-winning dishes enjoyed at Azor Restaurant and Patio can be featured at your next event when you order from Azor Catering. Our services include menu planning with our amazing food, event site location, rental equipment, linens, event staffing, and seeing to every last detail of your wedding, special event, or corporate event. Visit AzorCateringKY.com or call 859-327-7125 to start customizing your menu today. Hello, my name is Bob. Recently, I switched my business phone service to Glow Telecom. Now I'm saving over 50% on my monthly phone bills, over $2,000 a year. And I have a PBX phone system that would have cost me over $10,000. Unlimited calling to the U.S. and Canada with no long distance charges. If you want to put money back in your wallet, call Glow Telecom today. Call Glow Telecom at 888-428-0984. 888-428-0984. Today's shoppers are informed. 
When shopping for the family meal, today's shopper chooses Critchfield Meats for fresh, all-natural quality meats, guaranteed. Make the right choice and visit our family before you feed yours. Critchfield Meats, the meat specialist, family owned and operated since 1969. That's a great A choice, folks. Welcome back to some uh, food. Where are we, Jeremy? <laughs> it's that bourbon. Okay. Planet Earth. <laughs> Anyway, we're back Go, with buddy. food Go. news and shoes. We're going to do our cooking segment. And this recipe is from... The Bubble Room. Off the Eden Path, Second what? Helpings, Morgan Murphy's book. Yeah, The Bubble Room. I've been there. And so I thought I'd pick this one out. We're actually uh, doing bubble? a dinner tonight yeah. at the restaurant bubble. featuring this recipe. So it's natural. We should do it on the show because it's really fun. You can do this at home. It kind of, it's kind of like the French en papillot, like, you know, mm -hmm. uh, bag method. Uh, but we're going to do a little grouper. Uh, guys, it's really simple. A um, little bit of salt and pepper on your fish. Uh, of course, both sides. You don't. Anybody likes any one-sided food, right? And this right? is grouper, right? You're yeah, this is a fresh piece grouper. of grouper. It's great. Um, you know, we're gonna. I'm gonna put a little crust on it to sear. I think it kind of makes it cook better mm -hmm. in the bag. So a little bit of oil in a pan. We're gonna use a little bit of lemon oil, just because uh, lemon and seafood is great. Crumbs Yep. You can also smell the the lemons mm. that's kind of popping through that. Anyway, oh, grouper goes in there to get a little sear or crust. Oh, and at the same good. time, you got to check out the the recipe in the book. It's very interesting. Um, they the take a little bit of, <laughs> yeah, the, the restaurant's interesting. Yeah. I've been there, but uh, is this it? is a mixture. Captiva Island, Florida. So I'll it's just kind of, it's awesome. It's beautiful yeah. right on the beach. Captiva. So they, in, in the recipe in, in the book, uh, Second Helpings, you basically have a mixture of pureed walnuts, butter, pineapple juice, brown sugar, and a buttery cracker, uh, you know, whatever brand it is you want to use. But if you make that pureed mixture, you're basically ready to go. Also, you need to go ahead and raid the uh, cupboard and get one of your kids' hey, uh, there lunch you go. sacks, right? I can handle right? that. Because yeah. that's what the... Uh, this is the most gourmet lunch sack ever. Right. This is what the neat part is about the recipe. So once you have the lunch sack, your group are searing, your mixture's made, go ahead. Now I'm going to use a little... It says to dredge in oil. I'm just going to use a little spray. Oh, that's Make smart. it a little bit easier. For you guys at home. He's making it do? his own. I like it. Yeah, making it my own. What does the bag do? You know, the bag is gonna create like a, you know, like a big kind of steam cavity mm -hmm. and keeps it really, really moist. It also decreases the cooking time. Uh, you oil the bag because it helps seal it so it's less permeable yeah. for the, the moisture to get out, but also you don't want to let it kind of brown or catch on fire uh, well, that's in what the I was oven. Ask. That's my specialty is <laughs> catching things on fire, How many Sylvia? times do they have to test that with you until they kick you out of the Southern Living Kitchen? Yeah, well, when I singed the roof of the test kitchen, they were like, <laughs> uh, you know, you can be the critic. Yeah, we're not yeah, going to let you cook you out on the road, anymore. buddy. <laughs> so you got to see this nice crust on the outside. We're going to let it happen on the other side, too. I'm going to rush this for TV and take it out, kind of kick the pan down, and we're going to put the... Uh, the grouper down. Oh, it smells so good. Throw yeah. a little bit of that mixture on top. Spread oh, it all over man. the grouper. Don't be shy. So the butter, yeah, the butter, the brown sugar, the pineapple, the Ritz, it all kind of starts to baste the fish inside mm -hmm. the bag. Mm -hmm. Awesome, right? So put the fish in there, yep. that just like so, and roll it up like you're taking lunch to school. By the way, how can they get your book? Please? They can buy it on Amazon or my website, morganmurphy.co. Yeah, there you go. So anyway, in the oven, about 400 degrees. It won't catch on fire. No, no, 400 degrees for, I don't know, about 10, 12 minutes. It's hard to tell when it's done because it's in a bag. So let it sit There's and rest that. a little while. In the meantime, little veggies for the side, mm -hmm. just green beans, potatoes, tomatoes. Uh, oh, yeah, finish I mean, all that the things with you can find at like, Farmer's talking. Market. White huh? wine, just for a nice uh, side dish of presentation. I've got one down here ready to go. Of course, you magical guy magic here. Of TV. <laughs> so we'll rip this bag open. Maybe kind of fun uh, for the camera. There you go. See Smile. Nice piece of fish. Mm. Finish it with beautiful little veggies on the side. And uh, great and, little and dish from the, the bubble room. Yeah. A little bit of potatoes, some green beans, some tomato. Oh, you made that look beautiful. Yeah, there's a lot of that at the farmer's markets, right? Oh, I, yeah. Everything there is uh, is local from Kentucky except for the fish and the brown bag. 
and the pineapple juice in the cracker. But anyway, all the veggies are. Uh, so serve it with the bag, like, just the, like the bubble wrap. That's the yeah. cool part yeah. of it out of a bag. It's just kind of nostalgic and fun. Yeah, guests get a kick out of that. Yeah. That's so nice. There you nice. go, guys. Mm. Cool. Yummy. Great job. All Pick right. up the book. It's got lots of great recipes like this. A lot of fun ideas. I really, I really enjoyed reading it. Thanks a lot for sharing. Oh, thank you. You could charm so, a dog off a of meat truck. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Sylvia quoted in the book. <laughs> we'll be back next week with Food News and Shoes, and thank you for being with us. Thank you. Advertise your product or service on shows like this one. Contact Media 7 Broadcasting today. Call 859-317-4565 or email sales at m7bg.com. Reach potential new customers in the Louisville, Lexington, and other Central Kentucky areas. Get your new ad produced for free by Media 7's audio and video professionals. Call 859-317-4565 today and let Media 7 create a marketing plan for you. From concessions to festivals, bingo halls to daycare facilities, Seaworth Superstore is Kentucky's largest dealer for all your weekend kitchen or mobile kitchen supply needs. From popcorn to snow cone machines, we have the largest selection of new and used equipment with warranties to help keep your mobile food truck or weekend event going strong. That's Seaworth Superstore for Sales Road, Lexington. That's Seaworth Superstore, putting the Kentucky workforce back to work. Today's shoppers are informed. When shopping for the family meal, today's shopper chooses Critchfield Meats for fresh, all-natural quality meats, guaranteed. Make the right choice and visit our family before you feed yours. Critchfield Meats, the meat specialist, family owned and operated since 1969. That's a great A choice, folks. influenced, locally inspired. Azure Restaurant and Patio, contemporary fine dining and a relaxed atmosphere right here in Lexington. Modern award-winning dishes with a distinctive Kentucky twist from the mind of nationally recognized chef Jeremy Ashby. Voted best fine dining in Lexington. Azure is chef created, chef driven, and Kentucky proud since day one. Taste something unique at Azure Restaurant and Patio, Beaumont Center in Lexington. And see chef Jeremy Ashby and Sylvia Lovely on the Food News and Chews Sunday night at 11 on Fox 56. Hello, my name is Bob. Recently, I switched my business phone service to Glow Telecom. Now I'm saving over 50% on my monthly phone bills, over $2,000 a year. And I have a PBX phone system that would have cost me over $10,000. Unlimited calling to the U.S. and Canada with no long distance charges. If you want to put money back in your wallet, call Glow Telecom today. Call Glow Telecom at 888-428-0984. 888-428-0984.